Uh, what's going on everybody? Ratchet Wrench is back for another video and today we have the Project Miata which is part two of the turbo build of actually installing the turbo. Um, we had a hiccup which we had actually this adapter that went from the um, turbo manifold to the turbo. It was a little too long so it took up too much space and the turbo was hitting these brake lines and um, of course we could always reroute them but we don't want to spend that kind of money right now so we took about an inch off and then we welded this, this together. Cast iron is extremely hard to weld, so we put a nice little bronze braze on top of it as well, just to keep it cool. But now we can hook this up and the turbo slides by without hitting these brake lines and the master cylinder. It's still tight, but it does the job. So now we're gonna pretty much hook up everything. We do have some things in the mail, um, a little coupler that's gonna be coming soon, which will be in the next video of just hooking it up to the turbo. And that's the last thing besides, you know, today's work. And then we'll be able to start it up and then we'll have to get an ECU and this thing will be ready for the street, man. But without further ado, let's get into it. So guys, first step, we're going to take our new welded adapter and get that thing fitted so we can put the turbo on and kind of work around it. So Austin just grabbing those bolts and getting the gasket on and everything. So it's hard with this weld, but we might have to hit them in a little bit to get those through because it is extremely close. step is to put it you know a nice gasket on and we're going to connect the turbo i'll show you what i mean by fitting issue let's sit like right around there so we are touching that brake line but we'll move that out of the way a little more before you couldn't even get that little guy in there so we're lucky you got some clearance this we could even cut out i see a lot of people that um kind of hit this frame away cut it out a little bit and then just bend it back just to fit but i think yeah, we should have clearance right there this it is going to be tight but we'll, we'll make it work we'll do it the ratchet way like always right now let's hook these bad boys up so i'm going to help out awesome i'm going to put the camber down yeah we'll get to it before we actually put this new turbo on we're going to take the oil drain lines which um, we started to do in the last video, but we had some complications with the uh, universal ones. They didn't work very well, so we did CX racing ones. So we're going to put this in and feed it up just so it's easier to do with the turbo off rather than it's on. And then, of course, we'll have to do the um, return line as well. Let's see. So before we um, really hook up everything, I just want to get everything on off the car so we got a nice oil drain and feed flanges. We're just going to hook them up. Like I said, now just to make it easier from having to do it on the car. I'll do that one. And don't forget your gaskets because you don't want any seepage here. Got a nice Allen key. Push that down. Get nice and snug. Turn. Just makes it a lot easier. All right, so those are on. We'll get the, um, the return line on now, just so we can let it hang and for easy access. But then we're gonna have to drill into the oil pan. So this goes down there. I'm just gonna hook this one up right there. Man, everything is so tight with these things. Just hooking this up right now. I'll tighten it in a little bit. Obviously when I tighten it, we'll lock it in place. But just like I said, we're gonna let it hang. It's gonna pretty much feed down there. We'll make it all work out pretty well. But we're gonna set this down and we're gonna, I'm gonna need Wes's hands to uh, help me with this bad boy.
Turbo's finally mounted in. Um, we just have to tighten these bolts. I have this wedging the turbo up so I could put pressure on and tighten it. Because we want a real tight fit. Yeah. So I just got this. Luckily, I don't need to put a uh, socket or something on the back side because it's pressed up against the flange, which is creating a um, you know, restriction which allows it to tighten without the back side. Because there's no room down there. No. Come on. I can't even get my sock. Wrench on there. Let's try. That's one way to do it. It works. Probably gonna run it with no hood, maybe for the first. Definitely no hood. Plus, because this wastegate's gonna stick out of it, or we could cut a notch in it. Yeah. But it we gets... are gonna have to get a exhaust. That's another project for another day to get it up out of the hood. But it's gonna be. We'll make it work. Dumped. We'll make it work. Yeah. Nothing we can't do here. We're getting the oil feed line in now. Just tighten her down. Everything is so tight. What's next after this? We're gonna do that line down there. We're gonna tighten that up and get it away from the manifold, and then yeah. start drilling into the oil. Tank. Everything's super close to the manifold, and like that. That line's a little close down there, so we're making it work, though. Definitely a project. Okay, now that oil feed line is bolted up. Now I gotta hook up this return line. This is close to that manifold, so I'm gonna try and tighten it down and get it locked in that orientation that's at right now so it doesn't hit that manifold. But still gotta tighten up these bolts just so we get a perfect seal on that adapter right there. All right, we made our way under the car. Now this is pretty much that fitting that goes to the turbo, the um, return line. It's gonna screw into that. But now this has to screw into this oil pan right here. So the best spot to do it is right on this corner. And what you're gonna wanna do is take like a, um, one of these little bits and if, you could either use grease or Vaseline but you want to code that up so it gets as much shavings as possible like metal shavings as it goes around but of course you're going to want to do an oil change after um, you're not going to leak oil from this spot because this is just like the uppermost port the oil sits over there so we're going to I already tapped it down here and I'm going to drill right in there I got my Vaseline on to catch as much shavings as possible but of course you're gonna get a bunch of shavings in there so you're gonna have to drain it, which is why we got extra oil. This is really hot, holy shit. But you're gonna wanna get it down to, I don't wanna say what size you wanna get it down to because obviously the cone drill has a bunch of sizes, but each person's like um, oil pan adapter is gonna be different sizes, so just keep that in mind. It's a hard angle, especially with Vaseline all over me. And you want to be careful, you don't want to go all the way in because there are lines, like a pickup tube behind it, and if you hit that, you're going to be <laughs> Just be extremely careful. And you want to go on as straight as possible. There we go. Seems to be the size, obviously we'll have to tap it out, but... That's it. That's money. So as you saw, we um, put the oil drain line back in, or the return line, back into the oil pan. That's tapped a nice seat on that. So now we're going to drain the oil. We've got fresh oil to put in. We just want to flush out all the contaminants real quick. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be a wrap because we can't really... Um, Without that coupler that we ordered, we can't really um, connect the intercooler to the turbo. We are going to connect the piping to this temporarily. We're going to put it onto this. We're going to delete this bottom half. But until we get the um, mega square ECU, we can't delete this. So for now, it's going to have this bulky, ugly thing. But let's drain the oil and get that out of the way. Nice, clean oil just going right in the dirty pan. Yeah. Got to do what you got to do. At least it's STP. Yeah, right. It's hard to see, but Wes is down there loosening some couplers on the intercooler piping just to line it up more to um, the turbo. I know it's getting late, so I'm probably going to end up wrapping this video soon because it's daylight. The light is not cooperating. So we're on the home stretch now. Um, we just got to put uh, new oil in it, but if you come down here, that coupler that we're talking about is going to be coming from the turbo 
inlet to the um, intercooler piping. We're probably going to have to cut that down a little bit to make it, you know, um, adjust it. We could probably clock the turbo as well a little bit. But for right now, we bought this three inch coupler to a two and a half. We're going to feed it on that. Like I said, until we get the mega square ECU, we have to use this little uh, air box here. So we're going to have to. I wish we had a 90. We don't have a 90 or any kind of elbow to connect it to here. So we might just feed it out through here just to get it started and everything. But that will probably be temporarily. Like I said, this is a project. We have a bunch of stuff on order that we can't access right now to complete the car, but we want to get a video out. So we're going to put some oil in it, and then you'll see us in the next video putting the coupler. And that's pretty much the first start. So until next time, Ratchet Wrenches is out. Peace.